If you clicked on this video, you must need to use a cash app for something, whether that be sending a payment, receiving money, or you may be interested in a free debit card or also investing with it. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to sign up for the cash app and also how to get that free debit card so that you can use it to get some boost in the sense of discounts as well as send and receive money. This will all be done with the year 2020 in mind and 2021. The reason I say 2021 also is because this video is being recorded in the last quarter of 2020 and the chances of something changing with the app is slim to none. But if something major does change in terms of visuals, then I'll be sure to update this video. So let's go ahead and get into how to sign up for the Cash App. So the first thing you want to do is uh, make sure you have uh, someone's code to sign up under. This could be a friend or family. Ask them to uh, invite you and then you'll get a link to click on. If you don't have anyone that you can sign up under, you can sign up using uh, my information on the screen here. Or you can click the link in the description below. But uh, either way, you'll be taken to this place because you do want to go ahead and uh, get, on a, get a bonus if you can. This will take you to the place to where you can download the Cash App. Depending on your device, it'll be a different place, but either way, it's going to take you where you need to go. And then you'll need to enter your phone number or your email, whichever one you want to use to uh, sign up for the account. I've always used uh, email with these things, but it's all up to you. So it can be email or phone number. Once you do that, Cash App needs to verify your account. So they're going to send you a code to uh, whichever one you signed up under. This could be the phone number or it can be the email, but whichever one you use, they're going to send you a code there. You get that code from your email box or your text message. Then you type it in and press next. After this, you'll be asked to put your first and last name in then press next. You'll then be taken to this screen and this is the screen where it's going to ask you for a debit card. And this is the debit card that's going to be linked to your cash app account. So anytime you want to add money to your account, then it's gonna be done via this debit card. So I'm gonna enter that information in and uh, go ahead and move on to the next screen. Then you get to choose what your cash tag will be. This will be the tag that people use when they wanna send money or the tag that they'll see when you send them money. You can get as creative as you want. Me personally, I just keep it simple so it's my first and last name with a money symbol in front of it, but feel free to come up with something more creative if you want. You'll then be asked if you want to invite any friends or family so that you can get uh, get some money. Now this depends on what time of year and what's going on with Cash App in general, how much you'll actually get. But at the moment it's, you can get $10 after they send some money and they'll get uh, $10 too. So if you want to set up another uh, money stream, if you will, that's something to think about. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, skip it for now. And next we're gonna cover exactly how does the Cash App work and what's in it. So we're going to start off with requesting money and also uh, how to pay someone. So you enter the amount that you want on the uh, keypad and if you ever overshoot it, you can use the arrow in the top, I mean the bottom left hand corner. So let's say we want to request some money from someone. So we want to request uh, $5. Hit request and you'll be taken to this screen to where you'll need their cash app information and then you can uh, put yourself from, we'll go back. And let's say you wanted to uh, pay someone, it goes the same way. You can also enable contacts if you have the person's information in your phone to speed up the process. The clock icon in the bottom right hand corner shows your activity with the Cash App. So any type of uh, sending money or requesting money once you uh, get the money will show up there. And it will also show any trades that you've done when investing. And speaking of investing, the squiggly line at the bottom is where you can invest using the Cash App. You can invest in ETFs, index funds, or individual stocks. Since that's more of a robust system, we're not going to go into details on how to do that in this video. So stay tuned for a video where we'll be covering how to invest with the Cash App and the pros and cons of that. The home icon or the house icon at the bottom left hand corner is where you can update your information. So you can update your banking information, add cash, or cash out. Now for the fun part, let's get you your Cash App debit card. So click on the card icon at the bottom of the screen. This will take you here and you'll get to pick what color you want your card. You can pick black, white, even glow in the dark if you want. I'm going to go ahead and choose black. 
once you pick your card, you'll get to actually signature the card to put whatever you want in the bottom right hand corner. So anything you want to be known by, you can put there. I'm just going to put my first and last name and y'all can go ahead and laugh at my penmanship skills. There's a reason I'm good with tech. <laughs> Once that is submitted, it's going to ask you where do you want your debit card to be shipped to. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this off screen, but you want to put your address. Then it's going to ask you to confirm your first and last name. I'll put that in there. Hit next. It's going to ask what your date of birth is. So enter that information and hit next. On this screen, it's telling you the details about your cash debit card like what the monthly fee will be, which will be zero. Pretty much uh, this card doesn't have any fees with the exception of if you do cash out in an ATM, then it is gonna take a, a $2 fee. But that aside, it's basically a free account. And there we go. The sign up process for your debit card has been done and it should be shipped to you within five to seven business days. Now let's go back to the home screen and show how to get to your profile. So if you click the person icon in the top right hand corner, this takes you to your profile so where you can update any information you need. The personal tab shows your cash tag and you can change it at any point. Although I recommend not doing it too often because people start to know you by that cash tag. They wanna send you money, wanna make it pretty easy for them. The security lock option is an added security feature to where if you transfer any money at any point, it will require a lock pin. So you can enable or disable that as you please. The incoming request tabs, if it's triggered on, will allow people to request money from you. And the Cash App tab, when it's checked, it will let people search for you within the Cash App itself. So what that equates to is, people can't find you if this is checked, and if they wanted to send you any kind of money, then you would have to send them an invite. Versus if it's already checked, they can find you publicly and send you money. The notifications tab lets you control when you're notified via email or app notification. The documents tab is another place where Cash App keeps a record of your transactions. And the support tab is a place you click on to get any help or questions asked about Cash App. And lastly, the enter referral code option can be used if you signed up but you didn't sign up using someone's referral code. You may still be able to get that uh, $10 by entering someone's referral code. So you wanna check with friends and family, see if they have the Cash App and they can send you a code. But if you don't have one, then feel free to use my code in the description or go back to the beginning of the video where it's on the screen. And there we have it. We've done a tutorial on how the Cash App works, how to sign up for the Cash App, as well as how to get your free debit card that you can use to get various types of uh, boosts and discounts. That does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And be sure to subscribe if you're new. We'll be going into more detail on the Cash App. We also talk about personal finance and other apps that have to do with money on financial anatomy. So I will catch y'all in the next one. Don't forget to get out there and take control of your financial destiny.